But if you're watching this, you're probably in the same situation as me. That is, um, you can't get hold of a Pi 4. You want a media center. Uh, the Pi tree isn't quite powerful enough. So you opted to try this uh, board called the La Potato. Um, you probably got the exact same one here, AML. Um, s905 xcc that seems to be a decent one at a good price two gigs ram everything looks okay it it works a little bit better than a pi tree but not as good as a pi 4 and to get it running um in a way that i'm happy with so there's minimal skipping of um audio and video and, and so on you, you have to overclock it just to squeeze every little bit out of it and uh, you probably not had much luck finding how to overclock it online, so I wanted to share that with you today. I put on it the Open Elec uh, uh, operating system, uh, or distro, I suppose. I'm not sure the technical name for it. Um, it worked better than the, um, uh, no, sorry, not Open Elec, Core Elec, that's what it's called. Uh, it's the one I put on it for, uh, it's a, uh, for Cody. So anyways, let me show you how to do that. We'll connect to the potato via the terminal. Oops. Oh, sorry, it's not pi, it's a uh, root. There we go. Uh, there it is, uh, core elect 20.1 nexus. Um, what we have to do first is mount the flash. Oops, that's not it. So uh, to mount the flash, we just have to type in this command, mount dash O, remount comma or W space slash flash. And now the flash is mounted and we can now change directory. We can go into the flash directory. And if we list the files here, we can see the one we want. It's boot, uh, sorry, config.ini. Now, my suspicion is that if you don't have the same operating system, um, the folder you might want to, the directory you might want to look in is boot. And perhaps there's a file called config.ini. Uh, that's my guess. Um, but at least for me, this is where my config ini file is it's not as much as uh, that can be done like with the pi but one thing i noticed is that you can set the max frequencies here uh i think my chip is the a53 but it doesn't matter i just uncomment both of them i think by default it's about 1500 and now it's running at about 1800 do I notice a difference? Yes, I do. Um, for some of my streams, I notice occasionally the sound cuts out for about five seconds, maybe once per 90 seconds, which isn't too bad, but it's still annoying. And since I overclocked it, um, that I haven't seen that happen as much. In fact, I think I've only seen it cut out once per maybe... 20 minutes so it, it's perfectly fine um i think this might be related to the problem with the pi tree and um, the pi tree has to be put into turbo mode to properly decode some streams this is due to perhaps limitations with the the pi and the potato but by overclocking it uh seems to reduce it so anyways that's how to overclock the potato Let's close. Okay. And uh, you would obviously have to reboot it uh, for this to take effect. I don't need to because I've already changed it. Okay. I hope that was helpful for some people out there.